Yeah. Hi, Sporty Sisters, and welcome to Lorna Jane's very first Google Hangout, coming live from right here at Lorna Jane HQ in Australia. My name is Christina, and I get to work super closely with our leading lady, founder, and active living advocate, Lorna Jane Clarkson, who's here with me in her office. How are you going, Lorna? I'm good. How are you, Christina? Nice to see everybody. Yes. How are you enjoy today? So, Lorna, as you know, with the release of your brand new book this week, More of the Fit Woman's Secrets, you've been receiving heaps of questions on Twitter and Instagram from people wanting to know about your active way of life, how you stay so fit and fab, and what keeps you inspired. So, what I've done is compiled a bunch of questions for you to answer live now. Are you ready? I am. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so first up, this question comes from Jenna Lee. She asks, when did you realise you were so passionate about embracing this way of life? Did you have a big aha moment? I guess the aha moment was when people were ready to listen. I mean, I've always been like this. I've always been that girl that finds something new to do with health and fitness or fashion and needs to tell everybody. And um, mm -hmm. it's just that my audience has gotten bigger and I now get so much feedback. I mean, the world has changed. Social media gives us this great medium to talk to people and get feedback and have conversations with their customers. And in answer to your question, I've always been like this. And um, I guess it all just seemed to accelerate with social media and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Fabulous. So I'm sure so many of you at home also want to know the answer to Beck Brady's question. She asks, what is the very first thing a person should do if they want to improve their life and take on the Move, Nourish, Believe approach to healthy living? I mean, that one's easy. I think the most important thing in the Move, Nourish, Believe philosophy is to believe in yourself. I think if you believe that you can get fitter and healthier, if you believe that you can change your life and be happier and um, wake up every day and jump out of your bed with excitement to what the day has to offer, then um, you're halfway there. So if you can get the belief thing covered, then the rest of it is so much easier. So Hannah Lee has just finished reading more and she's ready to take on the Move, Nourish, Believe philosophy. So what do you go to organic grocery stores, cafes and juice bars? First, can I say congratulations, Hannah, because, yeah. I mean, the book's only been out a week, you know, so um, first of all, I'm really, really um, thankful that you took that time to read it because um, it, it really warms my heart. So in answer to your question then, um, I like to try lots of new places, but I go to as many um, organic markets that I can find. I mean, there's lots of places on the weekend. There's the James Street markets, these, the Sunday markets at Ascot, close to where I live. Um, but um, if any of you get to go to LA, True Food Kitchen is my favourite, favourite, favourite place to, to eat. They have um, amazing desserts and everything is super healthy. So I think the most important thing is to get on the internet, have a look where you're going and, and just try and find, look up raw food or clean food or health food and then Try new things, and that's how you discover these places. And then do what I do and tell all my friends. Great. So this is something I, too, always find myself wondering, and that is how do you keep your skin looking so lovely? And that question comes from Marley Copper on Instagram. Oh, gosh, I don't describe my skin as lovely. But anyway, thank you. Um, I think the most important thing is to drink lots of water. I think if you can get your eight glasses of water a day, you're halfway there. I think that... Um, how your skin looks is a reflection of what you eat. So if you eat good, healthy food, then you're going to have great skin. Mm -hmm. um, Product-wise, I use everything as close to nature as possible. I mean, rosehip oil for your skin is amazing. If you buy one product, I think it's $20. You know, you buy it from the pharmacist, rosehip oil in the morning and at night. Um, vitamin E for your lips. Um, I think that's it. I think, And also, I think you have to find out what works for you. I like to swap things around. Coconut oil for your skin or your hair. Um, it's all in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lana, tell us, what are some superfoods that improve the complexion of your skin? Um, I think anything with natural oils like avocado, salmon, you know, a handful of nuts every day really does help your skin. And I guess antioxidants, so red berries, lots of vegetables that have colour. Um, but same again, keep it clean and your skin will look amazing. Excellent. 
So what do you eat in a day? And any suggestions for stopping modeless eating during a stressful day? Now those, that question comes from Lovely Life Now and Fit Adelicious Life. First of all, do you really want to know what I eat in a day? For someone as small as me, I eat a lot of food. But you know what? I really I eat well and I eat often. So that's why I have a metabolism that can afford me to enjoy food and a lot of food. Um, the most important thing for me is that I plan my food. So I know the day before what I'm going to eat. And I think about what I'm going to do for the day. So if I've got this day where I'm going to be running around like a crazy fool, then I make sure I have lots of carbohydrates. If I'm just going to be sitting at my desk, then I guess... I turn it back a bit and, and just have some protein and vegetables. The best and most important thing is that you have lots of snacks so you don't you know, run off to the, um, the local corner store and buy a chocolate bar. So um, be planned. Um, tell everyone around you that you're eating healthy and then you'll be less likely to go on that binge. Um, but yeah, all about being planned. Sounds good. So what is the best thing to do if you're feeling tired but you still want to exercise later in the day? That's a great question that comes from Monica. Well, for me, I make sure I get the really important part of my exercise done in the morning. So um, that's a good way to start the day and then you don't really have to think about it or, or you don't get too busy or start to make excuses. I mean, if the alarm goes off and your exercise wear is sitting by the side of your bed and you pull it on, you can't even think about any excuses that early in the morning. So that's my first tip. And then second, if you want to do something in the afternoon, I guess to lift yourself, I have a glass of coconut water with spirulina. It's a great alternative to caffeine and it really does help because it doesn't get you too high that you can't then fall asleep at night. Um, I like to make appointments with my friends to go for a walk or to go to an exercise class because then if you change your mind, then you're going to be letting them down as well. So, um, And I guess, you know, it's good to have a joke book on your desk and you know if you're feeling a bit down in the afternoon just um, go for a walk and share some, some fun with some people and it'll, it will lift your mood and get you excited for the rest of the day. Sounds good. So Alana Clark wants to know, what is your number one way to stay fit? We also had a couple of girls who wanted to know, what are your favourite exercises to do when you travel or don't have a gym? Okay, staying fit. Oh, gosh, I, I like to mix it up, but the most important thing that I make sure I do every single week is strength training. I want to make sure that I'm strong and I like to keep the muscle part of my body increasing so that I can actually have a faster metabolism and, I guess, eat more food. Um, and then with strength training, it's all about the food. And then with strength training, I guess I have to make sure that I stretch as well. So I want to keep my body supple and so I try to do some yoga classes every week. When I travel, um, I just do a lot of walking. You know, I, I, I just... I'm in a new place, I want to discover new things, so I, so I walk a lot and I do some stretches in the hotel room. And if I can find a gym, I will, but um, if I'm away, it's usually only for two weeks, so I always, you know, a bit kind on myself and realise that I'm just going to get back to my strength coach and he's going to kill me when I get home anyway. <laughs> so finally, this is a great one from Vanessa Kind. She asks, if you could invite any five people in the world to a dinner party, who would it be? I mean, I mean, that's a hard one for me because there's lots of people that I would like to meet, but I wouldn't necessarily want to have dinner with them, you know. Um, I think the people that I'd like to have dinner with are my family and friends, you know. I love to sit down with my husband um, and my mum and my sister, and I think I'd rather have spend that time um, with my family and friends. That's nice. So, Laura, thanks so much for chatting to us. We love all the advice and wisdom that you've given to our sporty sisters. Thank you. It's been great. And as I said, it's the first time for us and um, we're, we're going to try and do lots of this. I just want to remind you about our book and if you haven't read it, um, grab it and let us know what you think. Bye. Bye. Bye.